But when petroleum, when the oil, the big oil one was discovered in Nigeria, palm oil was neglected. There is attempt now to revive it. What I can deduce is whether you are blessed with petroleum or not, never neglect your natural resources. Palm oil is native to West Africa. There is a strong rumor, it's now like it has assumed the dimension of a folk tale that Malaysians came to Nigeria to pick some seedlings to use. I don't know where that story originated from. There are the same differently. I know in 1875, some were brought here as ornamental plants, just for decoration. But with time, they discovered there was some good money associated with it, and the Malaysian government developed it along with rubber. Without wasting time, they concentrated on it so that today, Malaysia is the number one palm oil producer in the world. But fortunately or unfortunately, Malaysian land mass is not very big. And I've been reading about deforestation, the disappearance of orangutan. I don't know how far that is correct. But I saw for myself when, I, when we were landing, I took my time to see close to the airport, there were very thick green palm trees. And when we were driving away, the same thing. Seeing is believing. I was satisfied. It's just like West Africa. It's just like Nigeria. When I landed, the soil, the same thing, you know, just this. One thing is the expertise that Malaysia has developed to deal with palm oil is excellent, but with land constraint, they have to move somewhere. You see, Peter, I had a world map in mind to show. Well, you all, you all, are, you all are familiar with the world map. Okay. Now, the, this has to do now with globalization. When you move, oil palm is now developed, even in Ecuador, far west. Uh, 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 Brazil, and not to take my time, I'm going to conclude with this note. <clears throat> That's the first half of the uh, of the presentation. Further global ventures. Are you familiar with that name? Yeah. Oh, good. Further global ventures. Brazil, a joint Brazilian Malaysian corporation established to produce oil palm in the Amazon, has already announced its intent to become a global player in the oil palm industry. On that note, Dr. Kamsa will take over. Uh, so very short time, I'll just finish it up very fast. Uh, just as we have Malaysia and Indonesia as the largest exporters of palm oil in the world, we have consumers in the same way, without demand, and without the supply, both are correlated to one another. The highest rate of consumption of palm oil in the world is by India, which has the highest population in the world also, followed very closely on its heels by China. And on the third place, we have European Union. Now, India also has a palm oil industry, which it has developed very well. But unfortunately, the high population does not allow it to meet the domestic demand. And the gap between the demand and the supply is filled by imports. The obstacles which India, Indian government has in its way of oil palm production are the price fluctuations, besides the availability of cheaper imported oil palm and the lack of processing facilities. Coming back to China, 70% of China's imported palm oil is used for food and an estimated 55% of China's palm oil is imported from Malaysia. Well, coming back to some very important vital facts related to palm oil, we can see that in the last 10 years, palm oil production has more than doubled. 50 million plus metric tons of palm oil are produced every year. 1.5 million hectares of land has been approved in Liberia, 
Cameroon and Gabon only for palm oil. 50 product, 50% of products on supermarket shelves contain palm oil, which I must confess I never knew about it. 90% of the world's palm is produced by Indonesia and Malaysia. And I think that the conclusion would be better off with a collaboration between the producers and consumers, keeping in mind that we need to have sustainable palm oil, because if that is not there, then uh, the way palm oil is being produced, lands are being cultivated for oil palm, La forests are being cleared off, which is leading to increased forest pollution and many, many environmental problems, which in the end, we ourselves have to face it. So it is a need of the hour that the producers as well as the consumers go in for sustainable palm oil by getting registered with the RSPO, that is the round table on sustainable palm oil. Uh, that's all for the... Thank you very much. I think very well done. Only thing taking about 14 minutes, right? Uh, well done. Very good. Uh, can we get the next speaker?